Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Cougan Cassius Fry. Sorry, mate. No, you do it. No, 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 you do it. Go on, mate. Go on. Go on. How much do you think we can get on eBay for this? Mate, I'm selling all can sorts. Can I take this down? My shorts, my socks. I'm going to make more from that than I did from the fight. This is caked in your blood, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, keep it. I'll keep it. I'm going to take it home. <coughs> How are you, first of all? How's the nose? Fucking fantastic, mate. How do you think? <laughs> <laughs> nah, look, I'm sound. Like, it, I, I look worse than I feel. I'm fine. It's, it's, all, it's all fair in love and war. It's all a good part of the game. Um, not too many of these type of wars, these type of fights, but I'm, I'm good. First of all, full credit to not just you, but obviously Fraser Clark as well on... A classic, a British heavyweight classic we had tonight. It's all right for us to say, you you guys were in there. But um, let's talk about a couple of the kind of the factors in that, first of all. Um, split draw, what did you think of that, first of all? And 115-112 uh, against you? Yeah, 115-112 I think was quite broad. Um, it's quite a strong, quite a strong gap. Um, when, you take into <coughs> when you take into consideration the knockdown, the point deduction... Um, that's that's a slightly confusing one, but I'm not the type of person to start banging on the judges about their their decisions and stuff. They're there to do their job. I'm in the ring to do mine. Ultimately, I should have made the fight more clearer. Um, the buck stops with me, so I'm not here to to press no one else about their decisions. The knockdown probably <coughs> come at the worst time for you because it was right on the bell. You yeah. didn't have any uh, time to kind of pursue uh, that situation. Yeah, and he was he was a. Sneaky guy, spitting out of his gum shield a couple of times as well. Grabbing himself some extra few minutes and moments and things. He did that a few times. So, look, he's been around the block. He's been in boxing a long, long time. He knows, you know, he's had to smother moments, how to make stuff uncomfortable, um, how to kind of ruin my work and things like that. So, there was a lot of lessons learned in there. How was the nose affecting you? Because we, we could see it, we're like, it looks horrendous. Yeah. But how's it affecting you? Yeah, look, it probably looked a lot worse. Mixed with sweat, Vaseline, water, the lot, it's going everywhere and all of that. It was just, it was a bit annoying. It was dripping in my mouth. Sometimes it was going in my eyes and things. But aside from that, it was just, like, it is what it is. When we spoke in the week, you said that possibly this would be your kind of last at this kind of level, etc. The domestic level, if we could call it a bit hard to call it domestic. But because it's not clear now, mm -hmm. does that mean that you still want to move on from this or does it mean that you need to rematch Fraser? I don't need to do anything. I can do either. I can I can still move on. I'm still I'm I'm more experienced. I've got more more time in the ring under my belt now. So I've got more experience to move on if I want to. And the rematch is obviously something people will be asking for. So that's an option we can look at as well. Um but was Fraser better than what you expected? Uh I knew he was good. Um, I think, like, I, I was, I was surprised that actually how much he maintained it um, through the rounds. I really thought he would really drop off, um, kind of after seven or eight rounds or so. I thought he'd really drop, but he didn't. He stayed in there, kept throwing his shots and things. So credit to him. A little bit of time out for you now. Yeah, like a week, five minutes or so. Ben was saying back to the gym on Monday, so got to get it done. You gotta do what you gotta do. Great crowd in here. This is these O2 nights are like the best in the country when they're like that how they were tonight. And um, yeah, it was a, a great spectacle. Like I said, it's all very well us going. Oh, it's a great fight. You two guys have kind of done that. Yeah, look, it's um, I'm just I'm proud of the the O2 arena is such a such an epic arena, so iconic for the UK where all the massive fights happen. Um, so to to stack that out, <coughs> to headline, to put on a hell of a performance and entertaining performance um, for the fans and have everyone wanting to see it again and wanting to see us go back at it is, is definitely something to be massively proud of. And Ipswich turned out for you tonight as well. Yeah, they did. They did, they did. Um, and I can't thank them all enough as well. Even even the club, Mark and, and the guys and all of those, they came down as well, Mark, the director. So... They're supporting me in person here and all the fans as well, travelling down and, and making the trip. So, yeah, massive thanks to all of them as well. Fabio Waldy, listen, congratulations to you both on a, an epic all-British encounter. And listen, whatever happens, if you rematch, you rematch. If you go your separate paths, you do that. But uh, have you got anything else you'd like to add? Uh, nah, just thanks to everyone for coming. 
and maybe we'll do it again. Thank you very much. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.